I think in almost every draft projection, you're in the top 10 NBA draft picks. What's your adjustment been from high school? <laughs> what does it mean to be a five-star recruit? Do you like a big three or a big dunk more? Why Arkansas? If that's what your goal is, I mean, I don't think there's a better place to go. Oh, oh. Hey, this ain't the truth. Project, project. This ain't what you want. <laughs> Razor bag. I love the Razor bags. I'm taking the problems away from my mama. I told her my sister show love to my brother. I be like, you know my stylist. Hold on, haircut fresh by stylist. Hold on, new cool play, no mileage. All right, y'all, welcome back to the Ride Around Show. Today we have Anthony Black. Today we're going to talk to him about his journey to the Razorbacks, his NBA projections, and his experience so far playing for the Razorbacks. Let's hop in, dog. Yeah, let's get it. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get this understood. I see. I be with the mask, man. And they all in hand up. 187, just spend me a 70. Chris to be stepping. They know it's a mirror. This fit a hurt. Bad like her friend. I see why that's her twin. All right. So do you like cars? We hopping in a nice old vet. Yeah, this is a nice little Corvette. I've never been in a Corvette before though. That's clean. I know you, what type of car do you drive? I drive a Charger. Okay, okay. What, what type of car do you want to get when you go to the league? Uh, I'm trying to get that Trackhawk. Trackhawk? Oh, yeah, that will be clean. I'm Look. not one of yours too though. Yeah, you like those, the fast SUVs? Yeah. That's, I, mean, I should got the G-Wagon for y'all episode maybe. I don't know. G-Wagon. I'm going to let you drive it when I get it for Nick's. Tight, That's the tight. secret. Hopefully Nick don't see that. Yeah, don't tell Nick though. I'm going to pull over and let you drive. All right, bet. <sighs> Driving school with Aunt Black. Oh, man. Corvette, Corvette. Newest driving instructor. All right, so we're going to start with Instagram Q&A for our poll on Instagram. Why number zero? I knew that was going to be a question. Uh, To be honest, I just, I didn't really like 24 anymore. So I, that's, I wear that my whole life. I was kind of tired of it. And uh, I mean, at Duncanville, I was there last, so I didn't get to choose my number before everybody. So they were like, you can have five, zero, 14, 12. I was like, I'll take number zero. Cause I kind of like, I kind of like the way it looks. Yeah, Agent Zero Cole, that, that nickname. Yeah, I, I've been seeing the little Agent Zero comments on my posts just yeah. a little bit. We got Mandy in here. Mandy. Shout out Mandy Hunt oh, Mandy. of AAC. Oh, yeah. Would you ever color your hair red? Why is it? <laughs> Every, bro. Uh, she been on you about that? Yeah. she. People want me to, to do the patch red, but I don't know. Like, uh, not like bright red, but more like a, what is that, burgundy? If you like, put like a light red on top of that, it might look, because yeah. it's already yeah, whiter. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, I might. If we win the national championship. If we win the natty, Let's I'll do that right here. If we win the national championship, dye your hair. If we win it, I'll dye my hair. Yeah, that's guaranteed. How are you guys overcoming Trevon Brazil news? Uh, I mean, we're just trying to stay positive for real. I mean, when you lose a, that's like our brother, so it's even harder, like, just losing him, you know, like, not having his him as a person around us. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it sucks. We're sad for him, but we, we just got to figure out ways to keep winning. You're doing it, and he seemed to took it well. Yeah. You know I mean, he kind of was just like, life happens. Nah, TB's cool, bro, and he's like, he's being a good teammate about it. Like, a lot of people would have just never been around and shut down, but... He's actually, he's being a good teammate and he's supporting us. That's cool. Yeah. Favorite NBA player? Favorite NBA player? All time, I like Kobe. Okay. But right now, I watch a couple people, but my favorite is probably Shea Gilgis. Because we he plays with like good pace and he's just a bucket. Shea gets it, spins away, baseline shot. Shea puts it in and walks it off in OKC. Shea checks, steps back, three point shot on the way. He's good with 1.1 seconds left. Did I just say that the Thunder... So, I just like watching him play. Do you actually sleep in the sleep pods in the locker room or just rest your eyes? Nah, I sleep in there, bro. Like, <laughs> before shoot-arounds, like, before we have our shoot-arounds, I try to get there. I get there early and just... Sometimes I just kick up... We got, like, some sleep pods and, like, three TVs. Like, are they like of, isolation chambers? Or are they like, yeah, it's like a thing that goes over your head like this. And you can't really hear. And it's in like a soundproof like glass door. So I kind of watch games in there or I usually I'm, I'm usually watching a game, but I mess around and go to sleep, too, because it's, it's, <laughs> it's comfy, bro. You can't hear anything, too. Like, yeah, I'll be sleeping there. What's the favorite game you played this year? Probably all the all the Maui games except Crane because we lost. So probably the Louisville game because that was our first like game in Maui 
which is like a big game. So that was probably my favorite one. That, their fans were crazy, and so were ours, per usual. So, you know, it was, it was loud, and it was a lot of energy. And we just played good and got the dub. So, so far, that was my favorite game. <laughs> what does it mean to be a five-star recruit? Um, I mean, it probably means something different to everybody. But personally, I wasn't really ranked at all until my junior year. So, uh, I mean, it was cool when I got my fifth star, but I'm never really satisfied, to be honest. So, uh, I mean, it was a blessing you gotta too. Be. Blessing, like, cause a lot of people, a lot of people just there's only like 20 some people in each class who are five star, so it's just a blessing, and uh, it's just a lot of hard work that went into it. So it felt pretty good, but at the same time, I didn't actually didn't know till this year. There's only like 25 to 35 stars in the country, and then there's 200 to 300, like four stars. Yeah. So it's like the, the tiers. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. It was cool though. What's it like being a five star? Uh. It puts a lot. Does it put a lot of pressure on you? Uh, it's not. It's not too much pressure. Uh, but I mean, you always have like. And I know in Dallas, I can't speak for everywhere else, but you got a lot of eyes on you at all times, and like all your games are packed. Uh, all the away crowds are going at you like the whole game. Just a little target on your back. Yeah, but. calling you overrated and all that. And then, you know, the little players trying to prove, like, same way you were when you were in a five star, trying to prove why they should, why they're better than you. So it's just like, this is a big target on your back. But yeah, it's not too bad, though. It's cool. Last one. Do you have any surprising facts about you? Um, a surprising fact? I lived in Germany until I was four, and that was my first language. But I don't remember any German. That's always the follow-up question I get. Do you remember how to speak any? No, I don't know anything. Young boy or little baby? Uh, oh, I be. I remember I wanted for the quiz so many times, but I knew it's more when it comes. Now it's my time. I gotta make up for all the nights that my mama cried. I'm going in, I'm putting everything on the line. Dropped out of school to chase my dream, I had something for the proof. I put my all into this shit, man, I can't fucking lose. They smile up in my face, but they don't know what I've been through. Whole lot of nights I went to sleep and I ain't had no food. But now I'm up and I'm just thinking about my next move. Gotta keep my head above water, gotta make it through. I do this shit for my mama and my Brother too. Ain't no more problems now, nah, might as well go back to school. Gotta maintain, stay on my grind, no, I can't be no fool. No, I can't skip, no, I can't fumble, gotta sneak and move. Get up, we almost to the last one, but I gotta keep it too. Gotta keep it too. Surprise, surprise, but I knew. Gotta keep it too. 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 Gotta what are you building? Uh, like right here. They gave me like, I got like four tickets from parking in there. <laughs> so yeah, how, how has your experience been so far on campus? I know you, or I guess, how, what's your adjustment been from high school? Uh, I mean, it, it's a lot more people. Like I had a lot of people in high school, but this is, it's like a whole bunch of people. Like you see somebody new like every day, twice, like you never see the same people for real. Like. Nah, it's, it's, like it's been a smooth, yeah, it's cool. Like, it's a lot of new people to meet. Everybody's pretty cool here too, so. Do most people recognize you? It's pretty hard with your hair. I mean, yeah, I think the patch kind of, everybody says the patch gives it away. Yeah. So like, I don't know. But like, yeah, everybody's pretty cool about it usually. Yeah. Except the, the one dude at dinner yesterday, I thought you were Nick, that was funny. Yeah, time. that was OD. <laughs> I don't look like Nick, bro. I don't have them little braids. I don't look like Nick. Nothing. Man, if he had his afro, maybe, but no. Nah. No, nah, it's even, he, his hair is coarser though. It's like, <laughs> it's thick together. They want me to be Nick though, so bad when they see me. <laughs> like, no comment on that. So when you were deciding colleges, I think I saw somewhere that it was between Arkansas and one other school? Gonzaga. Gonzaga? Okay. Be Whoa. transparent. True. <laughs> yeah. Why Arkansas? Uh, I mean, I just trusted Coach Musk and, uh, I didn't look, I didn't really want him to promise me nothing, but he kind of just told me and showed me like the players he put in the league mm -hmm. that were kind of similar to me. So I could kind of just see what he was doing and trust it. And just, it was, he had like a track record of putting in people like me. So I just trusted Coach Muss. And uh, I mean, the, the seeing all the talent at this school too is a lot, cause I wanted to learn how to play with a lot of good players. 
So at the next level, you're going to play with a lot of good players. So just playing with them. You Get know, your league ready overall. Yeah, yeah. That's basically that's basically. Yeah. A lot well, Mus, Mus is a lot of uh, NBA roots, I guess you can say he bring yeah. down. Um, from like drills y'all run to like just uh-huh. like off the court like kind of advice he can give you Yeah, so I know that's probably gonna help us keep getting a Thanks. lot of recruits Yeah, I mean if you if that's what your goal is I mean, I don't think there's a better place to go Because yeah. you know coach smart played in the league Ronnie Ronnie played in the league yeah. You know we have a lot of coaches who've been there or coached there Coach smart coached there too must yeah. coach there So yeah, we got a lot of experience on the staff and they know what they're doing so uh I mean, yeah. It's, it's the league like, training ground. Yeah, yeah, pretty like much. It. And it's pretty fun, too. And y'all are pretty time. much like the, what you call it, the professional team around oh, here. Oh, yeah. And, but the love here is crazy. Like, yeah. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. At any school, any college I visited was not like this. Yeah. Besides Arkansas weather, how do you like the city? <laughs> I can't do the weather. The, but we- the weather back and forth, bro. I can't do it. The city's cool, though. Uh, I mean, it's a lot. I heard what I was hearing was that it was like nothing to do and it was trash and all stuff like that. But there's a lot to do. Uh, it's better when there's people here though. Like yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Campus empty right now. We filming on winter pretty, break. Yeah, it's pretty dry. Yeah. But when there's people here, it's cool. But mm-hmm. that doesn't make up for the weather. Like the weather's still too bad for me <laughs> to just live here, bro. Yeah, it was cloudy, gloomy this morning, and then the sun came out. Like it'd be flipping. And two different. Yeah. Not to mention it's still cold though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we shot that intro one take. We could not yeah, be yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think your the most difficult part of your journey to the Razorbacks was? Uh, Probably just, like, having the role I have and being a freshman because there's a lot of older people on the team. And, uh, you know, I came late. I was at USA Basketball, so I came later than everybody. So just kind of coming in and just, uh, just getting in where I fit in and I just growing into my role yeah. and I just trying to be a leader too to a lot of people who was older like that was pretty tough but uh once I once I really met everybody on the team and and we all became cool like it was it was just nothing but at first it was a little bit who'd you click with first when you got here uh I mean me and Nick were cool for real mm-hmm. for like a while even before I committed we were pretty cool uh Jordan obviously is from Dallas but probably TB okay that was like yeah, it was pretty cool. And then uh, Devo, too, because he was kind of like, he was showing me the ropes early, yeah. like, before anybody else was. He was like, kind of the leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was kind of, like, just showing me what it was like. So I was, he was pretty cool. Okay, so on the court, you had to adjust, like, obviously new teammates, all that stuff. Yeah. Off the court, we're both freshmen. How was that, like, adjustment? Like, you you had to kind of adjust to your personal life yeah, change yeah. and, your, like, sports life. Because uh, I know, okay, just me being raw. You like you had a slow start and then you flipped it on like a switch and you started yeah. going cold. So I could I, I'm assuming and Jordan's kind of doing the same thing. Right. I'm kind of thinking that's part of the you know freshman adjustment. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Th- I mean it was it was a pretty big adjustment, I guess at first, but I don't know. I think I think my my kind of like when I flipped the switch it was like obviously Nick wasn't playing and we were playing good teams. So I was like I kind of knew okay I got to turn up a little bit, but. I don't know. We, yeah. In Maui, I think I think he came on in Maui. Yeah, that, it was Maui. Use his spurt ability. Black. Oh! Look out below. Black. Up and good. 20 now for Anthony Black. Ooh. Deflected away by Curry. And then a bounce pass. He turns it over. And Arkansas is going to get a freebie. Again, I know I've said it all already. They need some scoring from their big guys. Look at this. Black for three. Arkansas might lead the country in above the rim this year. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. And a timeout for Kenny Payne in Louisville. Anthony Black is a one-man show right now. Now you on now. That's all that matters. But Jackson. my teammates were there for me too. It was a rough start, but yeah, we're good now. We're rolling. Are you your roommates with Nick, right? Yeah, me, Nick, and Barry. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. I, they put the freshmen together. I remember that because I saw some posts at the start of the year where y'all were going back and forth on your Insta stories, and you like, we not about to do this with the air conditioner. Like condi- <laughs> in the summer, it was hot. Like, uh-huh. It was it was pretty hot here, right? Yeah. So I came in the house, and it would be on 70. So I'm like, nah, I'm about to put it down. And I'll come back out, like get a drink or something, and it would be back on 70. So I was like, all right, 
So one day, Nick left the house, and I just put it on like, it was like 40 something, like 47 or something, 50 something. Yeah, but then they, I didn't know that I could break it. So then they told me like, hey, you can't do that. <laughs> but nah, bro, Nick, Nick always touched the thermostat to this day. Oh. He has it, he think just cause it's hot outside, it has, our cold outside, it has to be like 80 in the house. Y'all having thermostat wars. Yeah, bro, I need to put a lock on it. You only need to do it the school. Me and Barry get the fingerprints to get in, that's it. <laughs> oh. Like that on this song, though. That's why he only put one verse on it. Yeah. He knew it was fire, though. He didn't have to add nothing else. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I thought there was a car. <laughs> Man, that looks like one of them. Bro, what? I'm trying to tell because I know that police be right here. <laughs> oh man, that would be crazy. Pull it over. So I'm not sure if this is like, you know, something that people talk about in your like recruiting. It's like, you know, it's public knowledge. But I feel like I've noticed you have a pretty high basketball IQ. Is yeah. that is that something that like, you studied or like, uh, how did how did someone develop that? Uh, I don't really know. I kind of just. I kind of just think it has to do with my vision. Like I see a lot of stuff earlier than it's gonna, like before it's gonna happen, I probably know like it's about to happen. But on offense, I played soccer young. So like, I kind of understand spacing and stuff like that. I think it really helped with my spacing. And uh, I don't know, just anticipation. It just, it just came from me just playing and just- like, Other sports? Or? Yeah, probably other sports, especially soccer though. Soccer for sure helped me. Well, I know you played football which is crazy probably people don't know this you were in high school you played football and basketball yeah and you were cold in both i think i wrote right. it down let me see you had 39 receptions 560 yards and eight touchdowns the last football season yeah that's enough to get you d1 for football yeah and you decided basketball yeah, so why why did you decide uh i mean i really love basketball and i just i just i couldn't do football i mean my team was losing a lot so that kind of also helped help me quit like um, you followed your heart. Yeah, I didn't really like I didn't like working out for football as much. Like, but for basketball, you know, you can just go to the gym and just dribble and shoot and have fun like by yourself. You don't need other people to throw you the ball. Or you don't have to run just routes without somebody throwing you the ball. Like, yeah, basketball is just a lot. I liked it a lot more. It was more fun to me. I know you're a, a Packers fan, so I, I used to play football, but I didn't keep playing. My dad played for the Packers. I didn't follow in his footsteps. Because I didn't like practicing. I didn't like practicing for football. Yeah, it was. It's game day today, though. Too, we gotta beat them Rams today. Sheesh. Trying to get back in the playoff hunt. What's your What's your favorite play you've had this year? Probably the lob, the dunk I had off the lob. Do you like a big three or a big dunk more? Uh, probably with our type of crowd, a big dunk. UTB and Ricky, we turn up yeah. the crowd. Yeah, Ricky, yeah. He's yeah. cold. His dunks be wild. Way, way back here. In the back. Yeah. Oh, I ain't never Bro. seen nobody do a behind the head dunk. <laughs> Set of his left hand layup, he just dunk on you backwards. Like, I've never seen yeah. it. Never seen it. What's your favorite dunk this year? So you've had a probably 20, 15. <laughs> what game are you looking forward to most this year? Um, I'm looking forward to the most Baylor. Okay. It's like an hour and a half away from the crib. That's your dad's alma mater. Right? Yeah, one of my best friends plays for Keontae George, so it's gonna be cool to play against him. But yeah. I thought you were gonna say that was your two schools you were deciding between was Arkansas and Baylor. Nah, <laughs> early I liked Baylor, but I didn't really, at the end it was, I guess all love for Coach Drew and all them, 
but I didn't really see myself going there at the end. All right, well, I appreciate you coming on, bro. Yeah, I think bro. they got to learn you more. We had some fun. For sure, for sure. Now that I made it, ain't nothing the same. It all changed. When I'm in public, people see me, they scream in my name. Just a few days ago. I think in almost every draft projection, you're in the top 10 NBA draft picks. Hey, I mean. Is that crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. It's kind of surreal. I feel like if that was me, I feel like that was surreal. No, it is, but I mean, it can always change. But yeah. at the end of the day, it's pretty cool. This is kind of what I've been working for. Like ever since you start playing the sport, but you know, there's still a lot more work to be done. I'm trying to get up even higher though, for real. Yeah. In that top five, top three action. Yeah, you and you and Nick. Yeah, I'm trying to put Arkansas there. up in the top five. And I'm trying to get as many as my teammates up there with me too though. Yeah. I'd be lit Wal for real. Walsh and Ricky, uh Walsh and Ricky, I think keep climbing. Oh yeah. 